Hello children, in this video we will discuss few important numericals of chapter motion and how to derive the equation of motion by simple method. So let us see this. We will have to draw a velocity time graph of a stone which is thrown vertically upward. So when something is thrown upward, we know it reaches the highest point and then it stops and it comes back. So at highest point velocity is 0. Okay, when it reaches the highest point, velocity is 0. So, u may be whatever that you have given. So, graph has to be like you had given some velocity. So, that is your initial velocity. Let us show it. This is your initial velocity. You have given it initial velocity, but final velocity is 0. Okay, and whichever time it takes to reach the maximum height. So, initial velocity is u, final velocity is 0, it reaches maximum height. Now, it comes down. So, when it comes down, u is taken 0 and here it gains the maximum velocity. Okay, so, you can see it goes like this. It starts with 0. So, this first portion from A to B shows going up and B to C, B to C shows coming back, coming down. So, please understand properly, you can see this is your initial velocity with which it was thrown, final velocity is 0. So, this is going up, ball is going up, okay. And now when it comes down, then u is 0, it starts with 0, here is a 0 velocity, okay. And then it comes down and here before hitting the ground, it has got maximum velocity which is this. So, same amount of time it takes in going up and in coming down. So, this is how it is. So, this is the proper graph that you need to draw. Getting to the next question. This is a velocity time graph for the motion of the car. What does the nature of the graph show? So, graph is a straight line. Speed time graph or you can say velocity time graph is a straight line. That means slope is constant. Slope is constant. And what is a slope? Slope is perpendicular by base, that is velocity by time or speed by time. So basically, it is acceleration. So acceleration is constant. That means it is a case of acceleration is constant. Okay, the body is moving with constant acceleration. Velocity is increasing at constant rate. So, acceleration is constant. Also, find out the acceleration of the car. So, I already told you that if it is a speed time graph, speed time or velocity time graph, then its slope is giving you acceleration. So, slope is equal to acceleration. Slope of graph is equal to acceleration. What is slope? Slope is your perpendicular perpendicular by base slope is always perpendicular by base is equal to acceleration how much is the perpendicular let us see so we will see how much is the perpendicular so you can pick these two points in front of this it is 10 and in front of this it is 7.5 so perpendicular is 10 minus 7.5 so we can write perpendicular as 10 minus 7.5 now similarly you pick up base so, base is here. This is base. In front of C, how much is the reading? 20. In front of A, how much is the reading? 15. So, it is 20 minus 15. So, 10 minus 7.5 is 2.5. And 20 minus 15 is 5. So, it is 1 by 2. So, acceleration is half. Okay. But we'll have to look at the unit. Unit, this is in meter per second and this is in minute. So, we'll have to write that this is in minute. So, we'll convert it. Okay. This is okay. Upper quantity is okay. But we will convert this into second. So, we'll multiply this by 60. So, this is your answer in meter per second square. Everything needs to be taken in SI unit. Getting to the next. In next question, we have to obtain we have to obtain a relationship for distance traveled by the object moving with uniform acceleration in the interval between fourth and 
fifth second. So we know that distance is equal to ut plus half nd square. This is second equation of motion. Yes. Second equation of motion. So let us find out in four seconds distance in four seconds distance traveled in four seconds. See, I am not I am not writing four second. I am writing four seconds. So substitute t is equal to four. So distance in four seconds. Is u into 4 in place of t we are substituting 4 half a into 4 square. This can be written as 4u. This is 4u, right? And this is plus half a into 16. This is 8a. 2 8 are 16. So it is 4u plus 8a. And this is my sorry, this is 8a. This is my distance traveled in 4 seconds. Again. You say it 4 seconds, don't say it 4 seconds. Now we will we'll find the distance divided in 5 seconds. So we can find out distance travelled in 5 seconds. Same equation we will use, only in place of t we will put 5. So S5 distance in 5 seconds is equal to u into t plus half a t square. That is 5u plus half a into 25. So, this is distance traveled in fifth, 5 seconds. Sorry, see, I am saying fifth, which is wrong. 5u plus it is 12.5, 12.5a. So, these are two equations. Now, see, distance traveled in 5 seconds is this, and distance traveled in 4 seconds is 4u plus 8a. This was the distance travel up to 5 seconds and this was the travel up to 4th second, 4 seconds. This is up to 4 seconds and this is the distance up to 5 seconds. So, this is the distance that subtraction of the two will give you the distance between 4th and 5th second which is asked. This distance is asked. This is the distance up to 5 seconds. This is the distance up to 4 seconds. And they have asked between 4th and 5th second. So, this distance is asked. Simply, you can subtract s5 and s4 s4 from s5 so when i, I will subtract 5u minus 4u is u and 12.5 a minus 8a is hmm, it's 4.5 a so this is the answer getting to the next question okay so let us talk about the next question two stones are thrown Vertically upward. So, this is stone 1 which has been thrown vertically upward with velocity u1. So, this is the initial velocity of stone 1 which is u1. See, you all know when some object is thrown up at final velocity is 0 at highest point. So, final velocity is 0. And how much is acceleration? Acceleration involved is acceleration due to gravity because it is going against gravity so this much acceleration is involved okay uh, it is going against gravity to mark that you can note it with negative sign but otherwise it is okay so acceleration will be equal to acceleration due to gravity and to mark that it is going against gravity we are adding minus c so we will have to find out how much is the height attained so let us find out the height attained by stone a so, we will use the second, uh, third equation of motion in which u, v, a and s displacement comes. So, equation is v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s using third equation of motion. Okay, so, v is how much? You can see v is 0. Final velocity at highest point is 0. u is u1 square and it is 2. It is minus d and height is h1. Okay. So, it is 0 square is 0. So, minus u1 square is equal to minus 2g h1 minus minus is cancelled. So, how much is h1? It is equal to u1 square by 2g. Now, let us see what else are they saying in the question. So, for that we need to go through the question. Uh, now, the second stone is also there which has been thrown with u2. So, same details you can write that the initial velocity of stone b will be u2. Final velocity will be 0 because it is reaching the maximum height. Acceleration because it is also thrown up. 
this stone second thrown is also thrown up so acceleration will be equal to negative of acceleration due to gravity so we'll have to find out displacement that is height by second stone so same method you will use v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so final velocity is 0 it reaches the maximum height this is u2 and this is 2 into minus g into height 2 so same way exactly the same steps we are following and we can get the expression for height 2 which is equal to minus 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 is cancelled though u2 square by 2g so take the ratio this is what they have asked find the ratio of their heights so let us find out the ratio so h2 divided by h1 so what is h2 h2 is this write this first u2 square by 2g now you write this because it is written down so it will be inverted u1 square down and 2g up 2g 2g cancel it came as u2 square by u1 square this was supposed to be this was supposed to be proved so you can see the ratio of the height is equal to in the ratio of u1 square by u2 square so yes if it is height 1 by height 2 then it is equal to u1 square divided by u2 square so we have proved the ratio of the heights now coming to the next topic which is we will be learning to derive equation of motion by simple method which is called algebraic method equations of motion there is a video in which we have done it by graphical method and now we will be doing it by simple method or you can say algebraic method this is simple method or other name is algebraic method so we'll do it first equation will derive in first equation, we will take help of definition of acceleration. So, as per definition of acceleration, so what do we know about acceleration? Acceleration is rate of change of velocity. So, acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity. that is a is equal to change in velocity by time change in velocity by time taken how to write change in velocity final velocity we are writing in terms of words and then we'll put the symbol minus initial velocity by time so now let us put the symbol we all know so the symbol of final velocity is v this is u this is t is equal to a so a t equals v minus u and v equals u plus a t this is your first equation of motion by simple method first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus a t coming to the second equation now second equation of motion So you can see in second equation of motion, first of all we are not doing by graphical method so we don't need to draw graph again and again. Okay. So this is we will, this we will be doing by, yeah, so for this we will take the formula of average velocity, average velocity, average velocity is equal to mean of initial and final velocity. So that is final velocity plus initial velocity by 2 mean of final and initial velocity by 2 so this is average velocity so velocity average is equal to final velocity plus initial velocity by 2 now final velocity can be written as displacement by time and every velocity can be written as this so time will go this side so s is equal to v plus u by 2 into time c now we'll be making use of equation number one that we have learnt using first equation using first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t and v minus u is equal to a t and t is equal to um, let it be uh, we'll have to substitute v yeah, we'll have to substitute v. So, we'll substitute this in place of v. So, let us substitute s is equal to, we are substituting 
this thing in place of v so u plus a t plus u this u bracket closed and this is t so this is s is equal to u plus u is 2u 2u plus a t into t divided by 2 so we'll multiply with t s is equal to 2u t plus a t square by 2 now we will give denominator to both the terms that is 2u t by 2 plus a t square by 2 so this can be written as s is equal to u t plus half a t square this is second equation of motion so coming to third equation of motion now so let us see how is that obtained third equation of motion by simple method or algebraic method third equation of motion so again we will make use of average velocity so write average velocity is equal to mean that is arithmetic mean of final and initial velocity final velocity plus initial velocity by 2 so now we can put in terms of symbols this is v plus u by 2 is equal to this is velocity average now average velocity can be written as displacement by time and this is v plus u by 2 so time will go that side yes time will go that side so s by t is equal to v plus u by 2 sorry time will go that side so yeah now we'll make use equation using equation number one using first equation what is the first equation that everyone knows now v is equal to u plus a t so v minus u is equal to a t so t is equal to here we'll find out the value of time so t is equal to this let us substitute v plus u by 2 and this is v minus u by a time we have substituted as this now let us multiply the numerator a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square and this is 2 into a is 2a 2a will come this side so it is 2as is equal to v square minus u square so this is third equation all three equations have been derived by simple method kindly prepare these properly thank you